Good morning, friends. Now let's write our some some unit test cases to test pair RDD that we discussed in the in the previous video about the theory part in uh, for for Java pair RDDs. So here in that we learned that uh, we can create a Java RDD first, Java RDD, not pair RDD, by using this test file method from from a file, and after that we can call this map to pair method to convert this Java RDD into Java pair RDD. So let's first of all test this map to pair method and then we will test various uh, reduce by key and group by key methods later on so i got my IntelliJ open here and uh, just to save some time i've already created a very basic structure so normally whenever we create uh, uh, any unit test case first of all we create a spark on object uh, where we pass the app name as job as pair rdd's test and master is set as local star because i'm running it in my local uh, in my laptop and uh, it is having core of like uh, four CPU cores. It means that this mentions that there would be four CPU cores involved here uh, for creating all those like worker nodes and uh, both worker nodes as well as uh, driver node is, is driven from here. And again, so I'm using this parameterized test where I will just test map to pair method to how to create Java pair RDD from a Java RDD. And in this parameterized test, I would be sending this uh, file path. So there are two files would be, which we would be using. One is 1000 words. So there are 1000, actually 1009 words here, like one word per line. And similarly, there's a GZ file, which is uh, quite uh, big here. And it contains, I think, more than 2000 plus lines, words uh, again, uh, each line. So these are the two files, uh, data files that we will be using. We will pass it and then we'll uh, create a Java RDD first and then we'll call map to pair methods. So let's start writing this. So first of all, I will start with try with I will create the Spark Conf. I will use the Spark Conf uh, object to create Java Spark context. So here I will use this final var Spark context. Spark context is the is the gateway for all those Spark APIs that is available in Java Spark RDD. So I'll just Java Spark context, and then I will pass our Spark Conf object that we have created. And this is we are using in try with the sources, which means that we don't don't need to close it explicitly. And then finally we create our RDD here. Just call this as my RDD, and I will use Spark context dot text file, and we will pass this test file path that we are passing from this method parameter. So here is a parameter that we are passing these two files one by one. It's like a for loop. So after this, we just do some basic, uh, some basic test and uh, that what are the total number of lines, for example, total number of lines, total lines and files. I use percent E percent and from uh, myrdd.com. So this will give me the how many number of lines are there in my Java RDD. As you can see, this is Java RDD. Now let's create our first Java pair RDD using this RDD. So I will use my RDD dot map to pair. You can see this is map map to pair here. This map is just a normal trans, uh, transformation as we discussed before that it will create a Java RDD. But map to pair here, this will actually create a Java pair RDD where we can have all those group by key, uh, by key functions. So let's use this Java map to pair. And then I will pass a lambda here. So each of the word or the line which is passed here, it will create a new tuple. And I will call this as tuple two because we only need a key and a value for our pair RDD. And I will take line dot length here, which is, and then the line itself. And I will just control out V to just have our first pair RDD. Okay. And must mark it final. Always but good to have as much immutability as possible. Like here, parameters, final. I prefer to use as much immutable objects as possible because there are a lot of benefits with that. So here, let's uh, make me some space here so that we can it's visible. Okay. Now our pair RDD is created. Now let's uh, do some assertions here. I will use assert equals 
and I will use my RDD dot count. It should be exactly same as our pair RDD, right? Because we are just ma mapping each each line. Each line we just present in RDD and convert it into a Java pair RDD. So it should be exactly same. So pair RDD should be also same for this pair RDD dot. It has also I think it's got it's got a count method. Yep. So this should be as all enter for let's import this assert equals and i think it should work uh but let's run this little bit later and let's do some more thing as we discussed that we have got uh this first take method right uh, both in rdd as well as pair rdd also is there so whatever methods which are pre present in a normal rdd all of those are present in pair rdd plus all those additional uh, methods which are based on uh, on the key methods like pair that uh, group by key or reduce by key those are the extra methods which are present only for java pair rd so that's the difference so again we'll use this take as mentioned that take is very uh, useful command and we should use this because if the data is very huge this take method will uh, will get will uh, will take over all those uh, data from the worker nodes to the driver node uh, if we just use collect here, it will take all the data. But if we take, use take, it will only take the first five data uh, and put it into the driver program where we are running. Uh, so if the data is very, very huge, uh, the collect method will fail here. So always it's advisable to use uh, take for printing uh, or I mean for driving that data back to the driver program and not cause any memory issues. So just use take with, uh, with uh, take command. It's always preferable over collect. So now we're just going to print it now. So sys out. Okay, let's write, okay. So it's already coming as, yeah, this one. And after this, let's make some space here. Control Alt L. So let's, let's discuss what we have done so far. This is our very first test unit test where we are just trying to create a Java pair RDD from uh, from a Java RDD. So it's a very similar concept. We create our Spark context and then we create our RDD from these two files one by one because we are using parameter uh, parameterized test here. After that, uh, we created this Java pair RDD using this map to pair method. This is the method available to convert uh, a Java RDD into a Java pair RDD. And here we created a tuple with the key value as the length of this word and the actual line with the actual actual word is there as a second parameter. And you can see here that we are using, uh, it's already automatically created uh, that integer as a key and string as a value. It's the length and the actual actual word or a string. And then we assert that, uh, that whether the RDD count should be exactly same as pair RDD count because we're just doing a mapping, right? So it should be exactly same. And then we try to print first five elements of this pair RDD to see whether it's good or not. So let's run this test and see. So let's run this now. I will click on this run button. And uh, as expected, I think you should print the first five lines for each of the files that we discussed. One is 1000 words, which actually one for nine words. And another word is the zip file, which is having thousands of words. So we expect that using this take should be printing five. Okay, so our test has done now. As we as expected, the first one is 1000 words where we have got uh, 1,000 lines, 1,009 line, uh, lines. And as we created our pair RDD with the line dot length, so this line is actually just a word here. So this one word, every line, and the length is here and the actual word is here. So we did it for the first five by using this take method. Similarly, it's for uh, this, uh, the word list dot, uh, so we have, so this is the file which I, we discussed. So here we have got this first five elements, first, uh, first five lines, each containing one word so the same is printed here with the length as first and the actual word as first so this works for fine i mean we asserted that the java pair rdd is exactly same as the count of elements is same as java rdd so this concludes our unit test in the next uh, video we will uh, discuss more about the actual uh, reduced by key methods uh, which is available with this java pair rdd so see you all in the next video